Money can buy you happiness to a point. That is up to about $100,000 or £80,000. Studies from Princeton and Harvard found that money can in fact buy you happiness. The pursuit of financial freedom is not necessarily tied to an amount of money. It's more a lifestyle. We desire location independence, to live life on our own terms, to worry less about bills, to have choices. I volunteer as tribute. Be able to focus on our dreams and desires so we're not old by the time we achieve financial freedom. Freedom has a price, and that price is money. I'm talking about this. Money doesn't just buy you a better life, better food, better cars, better pussy. It also makes you a better person. Lack of money can become a source of anxiety, depression, and anger. Schools tell us to work hard, get good grades, go to university, get a job, and be happy with our lot. As an adult, we're on the treadmill of life. Wake up, commute, work, eat, sleep, repeat. We're trying to do this for five days straight, to get two off for the next 40 odd years. The cycle seems unbreakable. By the time we're 67, we can retire on a pension for the twilight years of our life. It's no surprise at some point it dawns on us, there has to be a better way. And that is the pursuit of financial freedom. So who are you? How do you think? What are your beliefs? What are your habits and traits? How do you really feel about yourself? How confident are you within yourself? How do you relate to others? And how much do you trust others? Do you really feel you deserve to have money and be financially free? What is your ability to act in spite of fear, in spite of worry, in spite of inconvenience, in spite of discomfort? Can you act when you're not in the mood? The hard truth is you cannot go from earned income to financial freedom overnight. It's a gradual process, and these are the steps to get there. Wanting to be financially free on its own is not enough to be able to get it. You need to set a target. How much do you need to be financially free? Our monthly bills show us the answer. Go over your monthly costs and annual costs and work out how much you spend each month and each year. This will then tell you the amount of money that you need to be financially free. To get that income, you need to put some things in motion. To help you focus and stay motivated, you need to work out a date when you can achieve financial freedom. Write that date down on a piece of paper and stick it up everywhere where you can see it, on the wall, on the side of a cupboard, on your bathroom mirror. You wanna be reminded and motivated based on that date for you to work towards these next steps for you to achieve your income goal. Consumer debts hold you back. Credit cards, personal loans, car loans, they stop you from moving forward. You need to work out how much you're paying on all this type of stuff. Add up how much you're spending on all of these debts. I'm not including mortgages or investments only consumer debt. Imagine if instead that money was going to an investing pot to help your future self achieve financial freedom. That is the goal of this step. Pay off consumer debt fast, don't take any more debt on, and the result will be a reduction in your monthly expenses once done, and this moves you closer to your financial freedom goal, because the amount of money that you'll need to be financially free then decreases. Keep to the rule of spending less than you make to avoid sliding backwards. Yo, I gotta save up some money and get the hell out of here. Location independence and traveling the world, working from coffee shop to coffee shop, exploring new places while working from a laptop is pretty hard to do if you got a load of stuff. Sell stuff you no longer use or need to build up your investing pot fast. Create a separate bank account that you do not touch that is not seen by your normal online day-to-day -day banking. We want to put the investing pot out of easy reach until the time is right to invest it. When you get your salary, set up a direct payment to pay yourself first before you spend any of that money. Work out how much you can afford based on your income and your expenses and set it up today. This allows your future self to benefit 
from what you're doing right now. Well, I hope you'll appreciate what I'm doing here for you. Thanks very much. Generate quick cash fast by identifying a problem and then creating a solution for it. For inspiration, go and check out a website called kickstarter.com. On there, there's loads of entrepreneurs that have identified problems and are creating solutions for it and looking for crowdfunding to help kickstart their startup. This will give you inspiration about how to come up with ideas and also give you inspiration that you could potentially start your own startup without using any of your own money. You can get it crowdfunded by using a Kickstarter campaign. Start a side hustle that solves the problem while you're still holding down your job. It's important that you don't quit your job at this point because all you've identified so far is a problem. You then need to create a solution and that solution needs to be something that people resonate with so that they will buy it to solve that particular problem. My wife and I started our own online side hustle business while we both had full-time jobs. The business generated another income stream that we reinvested into the business to build it up to $100,000 in revenue a month from scratch in 36 months. We quit our full-time high-paying jobs 18 months after starting it after we'd proven that it worked. Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk built brands, not just businesses. People resonate with a brand and people buy an emotion. Brands create feelings in the person that buys it. If there's one thing Amazon.com is about, it's obsessive attention to the customer experience, end to end. You know, when you have a product that really resonates with, with customers, the word of mouth uh, grows like wildfire. The luxury bag manufacturer Louis Vuitton is the number one brand in the world. Teddy, don't be ridiculous. You're sitting here. Careful, that's a Louis. That is a Louis Vuitton. People are not buying Louis Vuitton because they need a bag to carry stuff in. They're buying it because of the way the branded bag makes the owner feel about themselves. So position your brand with your customers in mind. What emotions do you want them to have when they see, touch, use your products or services? I'd flip through catalogs and wonder, what kind of dining set defines me as a person? I had it all. Starting a side hustle requires commitment, hard work, determination, a desire to succeed. So let me ask you a question. What will you give up today to allow yourself time to make this happen? Even the cover looked like the catcher in the rye. I entitled it, The Things We Think and Do Not Say. The future of our business. That's how you become great, man. Hang your balls out there. Yes. As you start to see an income from your side hustle, reinvest it. But when it's stable and you can afford to do so, take a percentage of it to save in your investing pot. As your investing pot grows, you need to put that money to work. Your boss is moaning at you, life at work sucks. It's raining trains are on strike for the second day in the week, gas and petrol prices are through the roof, but you take warm comfort from the fact that you've got your investing pot ready to go. As the months progress, the investing pot is now growing faster and faster. This will be based on your side hustle performance along with paying yourself first from your salary each month. Yes! Use the money in your investing pot to buy income producing assets that will generate you a passive income. My personal preference is to buy investment property as these are less volatile than stocks. In the UK, these are called buy to let properties. In the US, a rental property. Residential property creates an opportunity for sophisticated property investors as you can manufacture your profit quickly rather than waiting for the housing market to rise. Buying properties in need of modernization that can be refurbished to either flip or refinance creates a quick cash <laughs> lump sum. This can be done by opening walls between dining rooms and kitchens to create open plan living, reconfiguring bedroom layouts to add an extra bedroom, or simply updating the kitchen and bathrooms to the current trend. I've refurbished many investment properties over the years, but my biggest one was adding another story to a single story house. As your side hustle grows, 
You'll find it if you swap your job to go full time into your side hustle, when the income from it and your investments are larger than your monthly expenses. Imagine how you'll feel the day that you can do this and you can quit your job forever. Great bro, who's the man? I'm the man. This will give you financial and location independence. You'll have absolute control over when you work and how hard you work on your own business. The time you invest into it will be directly proportional to the success and in turn, the amount of money you make. Eventually you can build it up and potentially sell it for a lump sum cash payout, which is exactly what my wife and I did with our own online business. That lump sum can be further invested into income producing assets such as property or stocks. My personal preference is to invest it into commercial property with a view to owning it debt free. If you follow all of these steps, your pursuit of financial freedom will be complete. You'll then be able to determine if in fact money does buy happiness. For me, money gives you choices and in turn allows you to determine how you spend your valuable time. These are the exact steps I took to become financially free. I didn't read them in a book, I didn't watch them on a video. I took them from the lessons I lived and the steps that I took in my own pursuit of financial freedom. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you can do something. Not even me. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves, they want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it, period. I truly hope you fulfill your ambition to achieve financial freedom before your pension age. And these steps have inspired you and motivated you to take action. My name is Stephen Duncan. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.